guys, what's up? Burrow here. So I'm doing kind of a different video on my planner channel, and that is what's in my planner bag. As you can tell, you know you have a lot of planner things if you have to put everything in a giant bag. In case anyone is wondering where this bag is from, it is from St. Martin, Florida. A woman, um, I watched her two dogs and nine cats, three of which were inside cats, several years ago when I lived in Florida still. And she went on a family vacation with her family, obviously. And I don't know, she decided to be nice and buy me a bag from there. I don't know. But it's been perfect for my planner stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys what's in there. And I have a tassel from the, it was from the Planning Roses June kit. Um, I think this is from like Paper Princess or something. I don't remember. Here's what it looks like inside. It's a little crazy. But we're going to go through everything. The reason I have a planner bag is because I tend to do my planning in various places at the house, so it's just a lot easier to have everything in one spot, especially something that I can easily just lift up and carry around the house and not have to really worry. So let's get into it. <laughs> and I hadn't really seen a video like this before, so I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of do. Like a little twist on the what's in my bag video. So first, of course, is my new planner. This is the Erin Condren 2017. Um, I do have it in the neutral vertical, um, although that's not an actual vertical page, but you know what I mean. Uh, so obviously I have this in my planner. I absolutely love this planner. I'm so excited for the new one. Sometimes I have my old one in my bag as well, but currently it is not, so I don't think it really matters. Next up, I have this little pouch. Um, so this came with the new Erin Condren planner. I'm so glad that it is no longer like actually in the planner. Um, I just think it's really nice. So let me show you guys what I have in here. So I do have the little like sticker booklet that it came with and then I also have the little like attachment if you want to attach it to your planner. I also have some double sided sticky tape. I use this for my sticker book so that's why it's in there. I have some washi. I have way more washi, washi with ooh. I have way more washi than that. I just keep the one in there for when I'm pre-planning. I have this pen that came in the Planning Roses kit. Uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.5. This is basically the main pen I use right now. I absolutely love it. Have some white out because you should always have that in your planner bag. Then I have a Sharpie marker and then I have another pen. This is the Uniball Signo Micro 207 that I sometimes use. Then I have just some little post-its which I sometimes use for pre-planning as well. And then I have these little sticky tabs that I use in my sticker book which I will show you guys in a second. The next up I have this little um, accordion file thing. Got this from the Target One Spot and here I keep all of my kits. As you can see um, they're by category in terms of what shop they're from. So like the first tab has Planting Roses so I have two kits in there from her. I have like some from Organizing Companion, Glam Planner, Happy Cloud Ink, Dizzy Daisy Dreams, White Deer Stationery and it's just a nice way to keep kits kind of all together and keep them organized. Um, I really love one of these. I really want to get another one. <laughs> and then finally, I also have a things to do and then another one that's like a week in view. This one is specifically for my YouTube, both my YouTube channels. I kind of just write my uh, YouTube schedule for both for like the entire, for like several weeks. Um, and that way, when I'm pre-planning, I can figure out what videos I'm doing what day. And then I have this one that I use for my pre-planning. Um, basically, I just write down everything and um, just like that. And then I use the washi to kind of adhesive of it. And then I use, sometimes use the post-its in the side to determine what kit I'm using that week. And both of these also came from the dollar spot at Target. I actually ended up buying extras of both of these because these are amazing, highly recommend. And then I also have some extra pens. These are the Stadler pens. I really like these, especially if I want to kind of implement some colors in certain areas of my planner. I got these before I got some other pens. I really like them. I think they work pretty well. And then lastly, I have my mountain of planner uh, binders. So I'm going to go through each one. I'm not going to show everything that's in it. I'm just going to kind of show you what I use it for. So this one, this like, I don't know, striped type of pattern thing, kind of reminds me of a zebra, has my freebies in it that I get from shops. It also has any checklist in here, it has ombre boxes, and it has sidebar items. Um, and that's pretty much what I keep in this one. And this one is one that I recently started, there's not really much in there, I just have some like deco sheets in there, and um, just some like appointment dots and stuff. Um, that's pretty much all that's in there because I don't really know what else to put in there yet. And then this ginormous one, the striped one, which was actually the first one that I got. This has all of my extras in it. So anytime I do a plan with me and I have leftovers, I put them in here. 
Um, and at some point I'm going to go through all of this and kind of declutter it because as you can tell, it's pretty thick. <laughs> but it's just nice to have because sometimes you have like little extra icons and stuff on some kits. And it's just, it's really nice just to have the leftovers. I don't know. I just, I like keeping it because what if I need it? So this is kind of my main sticker binder. This is like my holy grail of all of my stickers. Um, and this is kind of organized by shop. I just find it a lot easier to find stickers that I want because I know what shop has what sticker that I'm looking for. So for me, it's just a lot easier. So first you'll have the stickers that I made myself. Those are just random ones. Um, and then we'll have some Scribble Prints Co. Then we have some planning roses. And then we have Dizzy Daisy Dreams. We have Thumbprints Co. We have It's Planning Time, which I actually need to buy some more stickers from her because I love hers. And then I have Odd Loop, but they don't have a tab currently because I need to get more stickers so that I can justify putting a tab on it. <laughs> and then we have Organizing Companion. Then we have the Planner Junkie. We have Kina Prints. And then we have the Coffee Monsters Co. So this is pretty much where I keep all of my stickers, the main ones that I use, icons, um, just any sort of functional things, whatever. I just find it so much easier just to keep it all in one place and to keep it organized that way. So that was pretty much everything in my planner bag. Once again, I love keeping a planner bag because it just makes it so much easier to move around the house and to kind of have all my planner stuff in just one space instead of it being just everywhere. So I would love to see your guys' planner bags as well, or at least just like kind of your planner collection. So if you haven't already, please let me know in the comment section below for me to link a picture to like Instagram or something so I can check it out because I would love to see it. Um, but I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of fun to do kind of a different video on this channel and kind of do one with my face instead of just seeing my hands all the time. Um, because a planner bag is something that I really enjoy having and I don't really have much in my purse, so there's really no point doing what's in my bag video so i thought this would be kind of more fun so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will catch you guys later be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already bye